All right, guys. Well, Uber made it back to Come On Mountain thanks to this guy right here. Uh, thank you, man. <laughs> like, no tomorrow. Oh, yeah, man. It was, it was good. Uber was able to go over there, get the trusses set. Um, we used it for the gables and some of the heavy lifting. Yeah. And also, while it was there, I was able to knock out some stuff for Country Road Cure that I've been needing to do for the dryer and stuff that they let me get a couple of months ago. They was finally ready for some tractor work, so me and Uber put it in. Mm -hmm. But it's good that Uber's back on the mountain because me and Tim loaded that log up right there by hand. And look here. I realize the old timers used to do it, but I don't want to if I ain't got to. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it definitely, uh, that wood is a little heavy. A little heavy. <laughs> Say the least. Uh, speaking of which, Ryder is already up there inspecting, making sure Gary tied everything down right. Make sure that he greased it before it came back. You know how those supervisors do. <laughs> huh? Is everything good, Ryder? Everything smells all right? Oh, Ryder decided to go on a vacation for a couple of days while Uber was gone. I think he was out there tomcatting, come on. <laughs> Uh, we might have to get a little uh, trip to the vet to get a little snippy, snippy, snippy mm -hmm. for a wild child here. Hey, we ain't going to do it, are we? No more. No more leaving the mountain. Ain't going to lie, guys. I was pretty worried. I do want to crank up the sawmill real quick because we did get new blades and fix the sawmill. And I kind of want Gary to kind of experience what the mill actually does with some brand new super sharp blades. I got the best blades that they sold on that website and it is a night and day difference. And I can't thank these guys and Country Road Cure enough for dropping their sawmill off for six months <laughs> over here <laughs> on Come On Mountain. That's what family's all about, guys. We help each other. This right here, for anybody that's new that don't know, is not my sawmill. This is actually Simple Life Reclaims and Country Road Cure Sawmill. And they're not using it and have no plans to use it for a little while. So they said I could use it to get that took care of. No. And also that. <laughs> that's going to be a while. <laughs> yeah, you got, you got a lot of trees down. Yeah. And uh, ready for sign. Exactly. And so, a lot more to take down. Yeah. <laughs> all of these guys. Look at all the smoke. I don't know if you have to see it on camera, but they are burning out here or mm -hmm. something right now. I came outside earlier and was like, oh, no, oh, let me do a little walk around <laughs> now, see what's happening. Yep. And I was like, I haven't burnt nothing today. Like, why is there a fire? Right. <laughs> you know that old uh, meme that they have? Oh, Lord, baby Jesus, there's a fire. <laughs> <laughs> Well, there is no fire on Come On Mountain. No. All right, guys, we're going to crank this up real quick, and I'm just going to let him do a real quick little cut. He's got things to do, places to be, and houses to build. So uh, let's get it fired up. Come on. Well, what do you think? Dude. Is those new blades a little sharper? Those new blades are awesome. <laughs> Dude. Heck yeah. I think cut like butter. Yeah. That's a, and it leaves it really nice and pretty much there, man. Oh yeah. That doesn't give you like a wave or anything. No. We had, we had a wave in it before. Yeah. Right. And I have a lot of people tell me, guys, oh, you need to have your uh, guard closer to the log. There is no guard. This is a Harbor Freight one, and it, it might have used to have a guard, but it's never had a guard since we've had it. Uh -huh. So there is no adjustment to get closer to the log. Yes, I would like to have something get closer to keep from the wobble of the blade, but as long as you pay attention to your tensioner, 
and keep that blade tight it cuts just fine no that cut i mean that cut beautifully yeah and not only that it makes it to where you have the little stubs right here to where it holds it and the yeah. plant yeah keeping it in so i mean you can't really get much closer than that yeah this right here was a uh, homemade as well um that showed up broke <laughs> <laughs> and i also fixed that too so uh Thank you, sir. hey no problem that's what we do when gary takes my tractor it gets back better and same thing with the sawmill i, I kind of fix it as i go through it and then uh also i have some materials where i'm about to build another something like this to this other end that way you got two clamps on the log because it needs one it used to have one but i think it broke off i think the one used to be here there really needs to be another one here yeah. and also with this new extension that was put on one kind of needs to go down there just in case yeah. all right guys we're gonna get uber backed up unloaded and all that good stuff and then i'll bring y'all back All right, guys, we got Uber unloaded. We got the trailer backed up and unhooked. And Gary's got to get out of here. But I appreciate it, brother. Dude, I appreciate you. Uh, yep, yep. Thank you, thank you. And uh, all the hard work that you and Uber have put in. Oh yeah, is, uh, absolutely. Much appreciated. We had a good time. Man. Dude, it was great. We time. had a good time, man. You got trusses oh, on dude. your building. It's nuts. <laughs> it's nuts. It's good stuff. If y'all haven't seen their truss video, man, y'all got to go check it out. It was epic. They did a premiere. I think we had like 8,000 people in there watching or whatever. It was a good time and a great video. Yes. So definitely go check that out. But I'm gonna let Gary get out of here and I will bring y'all back in the morning when it's time to fire Uber up and get her done. Come on. Heck yeah. All right guys, today is the day. We are getting back on the siding and I am happy about it. It has finally stopped raining here on the mountain. It is beautiful, beautiful clear skies it's a little chilly but the sun's coming up so it's getting a little bit warmer we've already got this whole area cleaned off and we've already got some siding stacked up by the saw mike also Here's went up. ahead and trimmed up the bottom right there we are going to use as straight as pieces as we can that has minimal live edge for the bottom because i'm actually going to flip it upside down and use the straight edge straight across the concrete for the first piece and then we'll start coming up with the live edge pieces stacked on top of each other giving it something to run off of excited about it i'm pumped i'm happy to see it go together oh yeah i am too and it's going to be real nice to be looking out the door over there and seeing this whole side right here finished Ryder, are you ready Ryder's on the saw right now. He wanted to get more eye level because he had a serious talk for us. He actually went missing, guys, for two days and had me worried. But he is back. I think he was out tomcatting. Me and him's going to have to have that uh, talk here soon. Ryder, are you ready? Let's get to work.
all right guys mike had to go run his errands but we was able to get the first wall up in the outdoor kitchen turned out pretty good went ahead and put up the header that's going to catch the joist that's coming out for the roof turned out pretty good i like it now we're going to start working on this wall i'm going to try to do this one by myself it'll be a little bit slower because i don't have somebody on the other end so i can level easier but i should be able to work it out let's go ahead and get the camera set up and see how it works All right, guys, that wasn't too bad. I got it. And it looks amazing. The lighting ain't too good because of where the sun's at, but turned out pretty good. I did have to use a lot of the same boards that kind of look the same in a row because it's the only wood that I have that was long enough for this span right here. Turned out pretty good. Whenever I do my little corners, it'll cover up all that little bit right there same thing with the edges right here like i said previously on another video i'm gonna take a piece of pine just a round log going up hollow out one side of it 
and wrap the corners like this with it. Should give it a pretty cool look, making it look like uh, pine trees are holding up the building. All right, now we got to move the saw. We're gonna put it over here. That way we're close to where we're working. The boards that I have left are almost exactly the length that I need for this long side right here. It's like within an inch. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side right here. And then I will use some cut boards and stuff to start going up this section right here. Hopefully I got enough to go ahead and wrap all the way around to that corner right there. That'd be a real good progress if I can get half the building sided today. All right, let's get the saw moved and get going. Oh, um, by giving me the internet back. <laughs> yeah, I've been actually longer than that. That's just since my new account. I've been Metro customer for All right, guys, we got that one up. Turned out pretty good. Got to do a little wiping off, but it looks good. I still have to put another two by six up here to go across here, another header. I don't have any more two by sixes, so that's gonna have to wait. But the siding is as far as it needs to go up. It looks good, guys. Now we're gonna do the short side right here, but it is coming down to the nitty gritty I don't know how much more this will cover. It might take it close, but I do have a couple of more milled up right over there. Worst case scenario, we'll hook the torch up and go ahead and burn that just to be able to finish off this side. But guys, we are getting close to being halfway done with the building. What do you think about it so far? Man, like a puzzle coming together. <laughs> it's a transformation like no other. Yeah, it's crazy. It's gonna get look good whenever all the cedar trims up and everything. It's gonna look real good. All right, guys, we're gonna keep on keeping on. Come on.
all right guys we almost made it we got that one little piece right there but we got a two by six right here in a square line and i did end up having this one i could have got two out of this one but as you can see it's live edge on both sides so i don't think that's going to work that good for up there so i grabbed one of the ones that i already had milled that we just haven't burnt yet mike's over here setting up the torch right now we're gonna go ahead and burn this one right here and that'll give us our last piece that we need the sun is starting to go down i think we just might make it guys we just might make it fire las vegas We made quick work of that now come on that one came quickly yeah yeah it was a lot more dry than the rest of them all right guys turned out pretty good now all we gotta do is cut it and get it installed guys we're gonna walk all the way around and give you a shot at what it looks like so far here on the tiny house this was the first wall we finished these two were the walls we started on started over this side turn the corner and we even managed to jump on this other side look at that that is absolutely beautiful let's come back a little bit we're gonna give you guys an overview now tell me that is not a thing of beauty guys starts from that corner we got our door to the pump house come around to the outdoor kitchen Gonna get a nice little roof on that. And then spin on over to the main entrance on this side. Man. And we did one, two, three, four walls just today. Man, we tackled that one. We did our thing. It looks so, so good. I like it. I think once I put the corner pieces on, It'll be rounded looking like trees growing. It's going to look amazing. It's definitely going to be a unique, unique tiny house. Well, guys, the sun is setting. I hear the goats back there in the background hollering at me. They want some groceries. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video for today. Make sure that you like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell because we got all kinds of projects going on here on the tiny house. And until we see each other again, guys, come on. Let's go on another adventure.